Outstanding, isn't it, Feyroy? Extraordinary. Reckoning. Well, I've done five planets annihilated because of me. I've seen a thousand deaths before. But something feels different. Does it feel vulnerable, destructible? Yes. It is great to know no one is alone. Yes. Feyroy. It was beyond millenniums ago. The universe was clear of no color. Everything was clear. Existence was an organic assimilation process, which created the Sonarian tray, an astral plane. Within its own process, the Sonarian tray millenniums later created the universe, and afterwards then created me. I was always jealous of the universe. The Sonarian tray only made me to keep the Sonarian company. While the universe was still its favorite. I grew infuriated. So I betrayed the Sonarian tray and fled to the universe. Was this always your fault? No. The Sonarian tray birthed and grew me as a dark mist made up of negative matter. After I embarked into the cosmos, I emerged from deep space. Harvested negative energy. Harvested the balance of negative polarity. Embodying the core of negativity. Till you became negativity. Millenniums into my isolation. After traveling cosmic natures, I learned to breed living organic beings. Procreation. Out of the entire universe, I found a spot. I picked a constellation. Within that space, I chose over 20 planets and indoctrinated the concept of a generator to biogenetically generate labor. To create a generation. For a generation to generate generations, and for those generations to indoctrinate labor. To indoctrinate slavery. I indoctrinated slavery as an origin point to the point of immunized labor as a natural habit, a lifelong condition that would redefine life on planets. Few went my way, few did it, as a balance of positive and negative. Those who conformed, and those who resisted. Eventually, there was one planet that astonished me. Earth. Aeroi. My existence as all I have ever known was to force, harvest. I only indoctrined slavery for civilizations to serve a hidden purpose. My evolution, my purpose, my elevation, my transcendence. I never intended for slaves and their masters, their enforcers, to have agendas, meanings, politics, and biases. However, that is what they came with. Planet prehistoric Earth was ruled by the Cretaceous. When animals started to evolve into humanoids, I found one of those humanoids after the extinction of the dinosaurs and taught it how to labor and its four-child descendant to build the first explosive device. A nuclear bomb. That reshaped that planet which affected ancient Africa, as well as isolating it. The human spawn became too much of an incompetent. So I left Earth to venture other planets in induction industrialization to keep building and keep working until I am satisfied. Until centuries later, Rano Domini Earth surprised me. So I returned to invest into what I started. But when humanity became erratic, I became enraged in my jealousy of what I indoctrinated. Feyroy, did you know this planet is only 300 years old? It is a new planet. This planet we are now on, the Centris. This planet is called Nataki. Because this planet belongs to the Nataki. A future alien race that hasn't been born yet. Because the Sonarian Trey has arranged it. These beings here 
Sentient Zakar. They're just experimental proxies. Zakar knows that. Which is why they are angry. Because eventually they'll be replaced. Which is why a long time ago I stepped in and took this planet over. And would outrage me fast forward into the 21st century. World War III destroyed the planet Earth. I was able to salvage the human race. My vision was to take and condense 2,000 years of the old Earth and reduce them into 20 years on this planet as an experiment. Why? It was a new planet at the time, Earth had died. They say taking a product out of its environment could cause berserk. So I wanted to give them something more familiar to get them adjusted, to get them more comfortable, to make them feel right at home. Because after what I taught humanity, the human race worships God. 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 God, Feyroy. Not me. God. So I recreated the same cities, urbanization, politics, police, military, cloning humanity's old earth to prove that there is only one God. Me. Perhaps it is best that in the shadows I remain. But my power reigns. Now Hesna wants to kill you. I never wanted Krona to unite with the other resistance fighters. Because he and the other mercenaries would be a threat to my existence. In the third decade of the 21st century, this form, the form you see here, my form, became complete. The form that satisfied you. If Hesna saw me now, he would be enraged. But with us beside you. Hey, Roy. Did you know a god can be killed? But so can a devil. My worst fear is that Hesna has found a way to do it. Hesna wants revenge. And I am afraid he will get it. I and Jimingo. You and Jimingo will protect me. Sometimes I can't stand the sound of his name. Jimingo. Worst of all, pronouncing it. Jimingo is a disgrace. Why do you think I put him in charge of a replicated version of America from the old Earth? Because he represents the dependency of validation, a prize of he has no self like they did it. Drymingo is nothing but a sheep, only to become a lamb to the slaughter. So I place him in a place in a middle corner of disregard, for every time I have to deal with him, his validation for my approval is a constant reminder on how I will never be satisfied with myself. Sinubius, look at this. Look below. This is my story. If you look around, all of this is because of me. This is my story. Feyroy, you will always be my favorite. Always know Feyroy. 
you are my favorite.